Now, of course, every farmer has to taste test their product. Some farmers eat the dirt. Some farmers actually eat the crop. I don't believe in eating dirt. So we're gonna eat the grass instead. Let's go. Ah, here's a nice little batch. It's got a little bit of a uh, die off because it's getting late in the season, but uh, should be pretty good. We'll go ahead and stick this in our bowl right here. There. All right. So I don't usually eat my lettuce plain, even though my son does. I usually, I've been into Italian lately, so I think that's the type of dressing that I'm gonna be putting on today. Cause well, you know, it, it's salad. All right. So the moment you've been waiting for, we are going to taste this and see if it is actually a good crop or a bad crop. What do you think it's gonna be? Put your comments down below. And also let me know if you taste your crops. All right, so first things first, we're gonna put some dressing on it. Italian. Mmm, not too much, but just enough. Just enough. I'm gonna do this every year. And every year, depending on the growing conditions, the taste is a little bit different. All right. Mmm. Yeah, trying to do this one-handed with a camera is a little tricky. That's why you don't usually see this on video. Kai, you want some salad too? You want to taste test it? You only get too little bit. You want it? There. You eat that there if you want it. Okay, well the dog's busy eating his salad. I'm going to have to kind of scoop this. can really taste that uh, manure I put down earlier. So I know it's doing its job. All right, so we are going to do the actual taste testing with the horses today. So we are going to taste test. We've got first cutting, we've got second cutting, and I know the first cutting is really brown. It's only brown because it's been sitting exposed to the sun from the door all summer long. Uh, we had plans to tarp it, but you know, the whole wedding thing, I just, uh, time got away. So we did tarp, second cutting up there, and we got a little bit of second cutting here as well, but first cutting was that green originally. Anyway, so we're gonna do first cutting, second cutting, and then we're also gonna do last year's first cutting. Whoa, shocker, we actually still have some. It's not in very good shape, I'm gonna warn you. Um, so these are actually the worst bales, yeah. They're, they've been sitting on the floor for the last, I don't know, three months or so. So they're not in the best shape. Uh, the horses really did like it last year when we fed it to them. Of course, they really like this too. So we're gonna see which of the three they like. So we're gonna see what the reaction is having three different choices. Let's go. So I'll show you real quick which is which. So this is our second cutting from this year, first cutting from this year, first cutting from last year. And if you're interested, um, you can see how dark it actually still is. Uh, it looks a little faded now just because it's getting older, but it uh, has a lot of good leaf to it. And the color is actually darker than our first cutting from this year. And the reason is because we actually cut our first cutting two weeks later this year. Not because I wanted to, but that's just kind of how it ended up. So this was prime cutting. I think this was Memorial Day weekend. Memorial Day weekend. And this was uh, middle of June. So that's what the difference is. This is obviously going to be a better cut than that. Um, but this got rain soaked and that just sat in the sun. Mm. Hey pup. It's not very often they have a smorgasbord of everything. Usually I'll do like 
first cut in the evening, second cut in the morning. Let's see what you got. Which is already excited. All right. I gotta get my feeders hooked back up this year too. They're not doing me any good like that. All right, so we'll put everything right here. So we're gonna do one cutting there, one cutting here, this one over here. <laughs> so she's like, hey. Yeah, Moisey so far is eating the first cutting from last year, the rained on hay. I'm just gonna go for some second cutting. <laughs> eating some second cutting. Now we're eating some first cutting. Which do you like the best? <coughs> Moise is picking through first cutting from this year. And Desi's going for second cutting this year. Desi hasn't even tried anything. She's just, oh, now she's going for her first cutting. <laughs> what do you think, Pop? And they're both eating first cutting. Wow, so I would have to say that this year's first cutting is a clear winner. A lot of people like to go for second cutting hay thinking that their horses like it better. But you guys have proven everybody wrong, haven't you? Yeah. And I think that hay actually sat on the field for probably 10 days before I could get it fully baled. Well, it wasn't rained on. It just sat there a while. Sorry. Maybe it was more like seven days. Usually I try to bale it in three to four. So I guess that's the clear winner. And maybe that's why Moisey went for the first cutting of last year was because he just likes first cutting hay better. Are you gonna step on you? All right, guys. Any final words? Any final words? Which one you like best? Is it the first cutting, Popper? Oh, she's eating first cutting last year. None of them are touching the second cutting. That's interesting. No, he's back to first cutting last year. This is the first time they've ever had a choice on what they're eating, so they're just kind of like, hmm. And some second cutting. Interesting. Desi likes the second cutting. Moisey prefers the first cut of either one. All right, the horses have spoken. Now really, if I wanted to be more inclusive, I would have grabbed a couple bales from the feed mill or offline and throwing those out for them but just take my word for it I, I think there's only been one person i've ever bought hay from that had hay they actually liked and it was another small grower just like us so thanks for watching guys i hope you have a great weekend and don't forget to get out there and taste your products unless you work on computers and you probably don't want to eat that